Hello gorgeous, welcome to my very requested video from you guys, my how to use a beauty blender video. So this is not just a simple how to use the beauty blender, it is a how to do your entire face makeup regimen with a beauty blender. I think you guys are gonna learn a couple things with this because I don't typically use the beauty blender for everything in my videos, this is a first. And I'm really excited because you really do not have to have a makeup brush to get this entire look. Eyes, that's a different thing. But face, I did everything with the Beauty Blender. So if you wanna see how I got this look, keep watching. Guys, so first off, I'm gonna talk about the Beauty Blender and you always have to use it wet. Okay, so this is a Beauty Blender wet and this is one dry. You can see how different it is. If you apply your makeup with a dry Beauty Blender, it's never going to look as flawless as it would if it's wet. And when I say wet, it's damp. You put, you, you soak it in water and squeeze out all the moisture so that it's just damp. There are a couple of ways that you can go about things. First, let's um, start with my under eyes. I start with concealer before I do foundation, but you can do it however you want. You always, always, always need to do primer first. So let's put on a little primer. So for primer today, I'm using Cover FX the primer all over my face. So for my under eyes, I have super dark under eyes and I'm gonna use a peach toned concealer to actually cancel out the dark. Now you have two options when you're using a beauty blender and I personally don't like to dip this into the product and put it on. I like to do it with my finger, but you can absolutely put it on with the blender. So for this, I actually used uh, Bobbi Brown's concealer and it's in light to medium peach. And as you can see, it's actually darker, but I'm canceling out the purple undertones. And with the blender, the beauty blender, to get in right underneath my eye, I'm gonna use that pointed and I'm just gonna push that into my skin. Now, if you use a brush, this is the difference between the, blender, the beauty blender sponge and a brush. This is just pushing it into the skin, like so. If you're using a brush, you're actually applying it, like you're painting a canvas, and that's not what we wanna do. We want an airbrushed, just beautiful, altogether finish on our skin. So we wanna use a sponge and get it in there really, really nicely. So before we go any further, I wanna talk about this particular brand. I personally do not like any other brand of makeup sponges, not the little white cosmetic kind, not any other knockoffs. Beauty Blender for me is it. You can see the design of it. It just gets in all those places that you need to get. And it just feels good on your face, honestly. Like it just, it feels comforting to your face if that's weird, I don't know. Um, okay, so next I'm gonna go in with a little bit of foundation. Again, so you guys can apply it directly on. I'm gonna show you the difference. So I'm gonna use my damp beauty blender and I'm gonna put a little bit of foundation on it and just apply it this way. So you just dab it into your skin like so. Get in there really well and you just get an overall beautiful finish on your skin. So this side, as you can see, the foundation has been applied and look how beautiful and just flawless that application is. And I'm using drugstore brand, um, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 230. And then this side, it hasn't been applied yet. So you can, see, I mean, I have the two dots, but you can see the difference in my skin. It's just so pretty and even. And then here you go. So let's do this side and match it up. Okay, so I know this from trial and error, but I've actually tried to use a beauty blender dry. It does not give you this beautiful, flawless finish like at all. It just drags and pulls your skin and it's just, it was not designed for that. It was designed to be used wet. So always, always, always wet it down first or else you're not gonna get the finish that you're looking for. So let's talk about, I'm, I'm, I'm applying first of all my um, NARS Creamy Concealer under my eyes. It's the Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm using it in light, which is um, Chantilly. Um, but in regards to storing your Beauty Blender after you're done using it for the day, I just you keep my original container and store it upside down like so and let it dry out and it just gets air from all the different directions. This one's about ready to be replaced as you can see I'm starting to get splits. It kind of tells you after you've used it for a while, it lets you know that it's time to replace it because it starts to break open a little bit and tear. So I'm just gonna use the same technique. I'm gonna stamp it in right under my eye and get it really beautifully blended out. So I'm not gonna walk you through the entire highlighting and contouring routine. You guys know I'm like the highlighting and contour queen, at least in my own head, I love it. I've done three videos already for you guys, so if you wanna watch one of those, I'll link one over here. And all three of the videos that I've already done are gonna be listed below for you. Um, this is, for this look, if I was using my Beauty Blender, I would probably pop in my cream contour, which um, I love cover effects for. 
For the contour, I like N110, and for the highlight, I like G30. But today, I'm gonna toss things up a bit, and I'm gonna show you how to use the sponge, the Beauty Blender sponge, actually with powder products. And I don't know if you guys knew that you can use it for that, but you absolutely can. So first off, I, I just finished my concealer, and you can see how beautifully highlighted I am. I'm gonna use my sponge and apply just a little bit of brightening powder under my eyes to set that in place. And I'm actually gonna be using the Laura Mercier, it's the um, Secret Brightening Powder 1. So I'm just gonna take the tip of my beauty blender, which you can see is good and dirty now, and I'm just gonna dab it into this loose powder, knock off any excess that I have, and just pop it under my eyes like so. And I'm just pressing that right into my highlight to get a really gorgeous airbrushed finish under my eyes. Isn't this great? It set it right in place and it looks so flawless and airbrushed. Okay, same thing, I'm gonna highlight. I highlighted my high planes on my face with my NARS Creamy Concealer. Just gonna dab that in place with my Beauty Blender and set it with my brightening powder. Next, I'm gonna apply some bronzer and yep, gonna use the Beauty Blender. This is a whole Beauty Blender look and blah, 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 Beauty Blender. This is a whole Beauty Blender look. I'm gonna use my Chocolate Soleil bronzer. You guys know I love this and I'm just gonna apply it with my Beauty Blender, add a little bit on the puffy end and Pop that right into my contour. I mean, look at that. Guys, blend it out. What do you think? Pretty great contour, right? Do the other side. Okay, so we wanna contour our nose, right? That's where the skinny end of the Beauty Blender comes in. So we're just going to circle it around in our bronzer, like so, so you can see how the very tip of the Beauty Blender is, has the bronzer on it. And just apply that, like so, under your lip. And then we're just gonna blend it out with a little bit of pat. So no makeup look is complete without some blush, right? So I'm using my Amazonian Clay Blush and Glisten. And again, Beauty Blender. Let's use the rounded end for this. Pat it, pat it on your cheekbones. There you go, guys. Pretty stinking flawless if you ask me. I mean, like, look, it is so fantastically blended right into my cheekbone. I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer on camera the way that I can see it in the mirror, but it is just, Gorgeous. Last but not least is highlighter, and I'm using my Physicians Formula Nude Wear highlighter because it's my favorite. And we're gonna put, we're gonna get really specific. So pointed end, and I'm gonna go in the two lightest colors, just drag it right across or punch it, whichever way you want. Probably punch is the best. And I'm gonna take it right down the bridge of my nose to get a very highlighted bridge. <gasps> I get excited every time I use this. <laughs> this highlighter, it's so pretty. I'm gonna do the same thing right across the two lightest colors and right onto my cheekbones. Oh, look how pretty, guys, it's so pretty. Okay, you can't forget your Cupid's bow because we want, always want bigger lips. I'm going with the lightest color here, right here, popping it on. And the thing that we can't forget is that you're supposed to always highlight the high planes of your face. So wherever the light's gonna hit is the high planes of your face. So always your forehead, bridge of your nose, cheekbones, and your chin. So we're just gonna punch a little bit on here. We don't want as much on our forehead and chin as our cheekbones, so maybe just like, you know, get a little bit of the excess off. But we're just gonna apply a little bit on our forehead, a little bit on our cheek, or I'm sorry, our chin. So pretty. So guys, what do you think? I personally think that using the Beauty Blender for the entire face like I did in this video, it's just such a flawless, beautiful, airbrushed look. Like, it just is, I don't think that I could have gotten any more perfectly highlighted, contoured everything with a brush. Like a brush just cannot give this flawless finish. So I am a sold out hardcore fan of the Beauty Blender and if you haven't gotten one, it is worth every penny. I know they're a little bit pricey. I feel like they're like $19.50 or $20. It's worth every penny because you seriously can get this entire look. You saw I did not use a single brush on my, my face, not even once. Eyes are a different story. You're not gonna get, you know, a great eye contour or color or finish or whatever with the, with the sponge. You have to have brushes for that. This is the be all, end all when it comes to face makeup. It really, really is, and it's that's it for me. 
that's all I need. I don't, I, I think I'm happy with life now. That's all I needed. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited that this, uh, this turned out so great. And I hope that you guys learned something new because I had a lot of fun doing this. And if you have any requests for any tutorials or anything you'd like to see from me, let me know in the comment section below on Facebook. There was a pretty big response that this was the video that you guys wanted to see. So I hope I did not disappoint. Make sure to visit me over on AngelaLanter.com because I post every day there and everything that I use in today's video will be listed down below in the description bar as well as on my blog. Thanks for watching guys and I love you so much. Au revoir. Hello gorgeous. So today I have a very simple and easy makeup look for you guys that I use whenever I'm running out to do errands or just, you know, going somewhere.